Well, yesterday marked the 35th anniversary of the blizzard of 78. We asked many of you to share your memories with us, and we got a lot of response. Yeah, and uh, of course, we weren't around for that time, but yeah, we, as we a snow lover, I have I sure seen do, pictures, though. It's pretty impressive. It's really impressive, and I sure do wish I was around for it, but uh, we've received a lot of great response, and let's look at some of the stories we received. Here's one from Keith Hemphill. My father had to drive my mother to the hospital in that because she was pregnant with me at the time, I'm surprised they haven't pranked me back yet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and Deb Roberts Lindley says, it took forever to get plowed out. Living in the country, we had to have food delivered by snowmobiles. We called Briney's IGA in Monticello to place our order. And how about this one from Chris McNew? I remember the drifts being so high that once it warmed up, we went sledding out the upstairs window, down the slope roof, onto the drift, and into the yard. I've heard a lot of stories like that. That, that pretty... actually sounds really fun. We're not expecting anything like that this week, but it is an interesting week for weather. It really is. We have so much to track. Let's start with the winter weather advisory and the freezing rain advisory we have in place. Newton, Jasper, and Benton counties, they are highlighted in the more of a bluer shade of purple. That is a freezing rain advisory. You could see up to a tenth of an inch, maybe even a hair more of freezing rain tomorrow. That's really going to slicken up the roadways and sidewalks. I know a lot of people going to church tomorrow. Uh, make sure you take some extra time, especially in the evening, uh, to get there and if, if it's not canceled. And also on the sidewalks, be careful. This looks to be a, an afternoon into the evening event. Purple counties here, including White County, Fulton County, Miami, Cass County. This is a winter weather advisory. Expect similar conditions to occur. A tenth of an inch of freezing rain possible, maybe even a little more. Also, sleet might be mixed in, creating an icy situation tomorrow. We'll get back to that in just a second. Let's take a look at the highs today. Got to 30 degrees in Lafayette, 47 Kansas City. Not a lot of warmth right now, but it's building down to the south, getting to 81 degrees in Brownsville, Texas. A lot of warmth will start to lift its way northeastward thanks to this system right here. This system will pull in some very warm air, unseasonably, maybe even near record warmth into our area before next week is over. Also, this will be responsible for the freezing rain. As the warm front associated with this lifts northeastward, well, insert warmer air aloft, and that's going to allow some freezing precipitation to melt. And as we have a cold nose of air at the surface, that may create contact with the ground. We will have some of that freezing rain, maybe even a little bit in the way of some sleet as well. Rain cam right now, a very beautiful sunset right now. We're under clear skies, temperatures in the upper 20s. We're at 28 degrees in Lafayette. For the rest of this evening, things look pretty good. We're going to stay clear for the most part, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies for the rest of the night. We will increase cloud cover throughout the evening into tomorrow morning, holding off on the precipitation until tomorrow afternoon. Lows tonight with the clear skies, the calm winds will go middle teens, 15 degrees Logansport, 17 tonight in Lafayette and 17 in Attica. Here's where the precipitation moves in. Notice the morning starts off pretty dry as we get into the afternoon into the evening. Futurecast starting to paint some precipitation in our western counties. That includes Newton, Jasper, Benton, even Tippecanoe. Showing rain here by 5, but I think an hour or two before 5 o'clock we will see precipitation. And notice on temperature trend by that time we will be around freezing, saying we're going to be around 32 degrees by 3 as this warm front moves through the area. 34 by 5. Now just because we go above freeze Freezing tomorrow evening doesn't necessarily mean we still won't see some freezing on surfaces because a lot of surfaces will remain cold even into the evening hour. So here we go, 31 by noon, 34 by 5, freezing drizzle and light rain possible. But after we get into the evening hour, 7 or 8 o'clock, we'll continue to warm up and we'll just transition to all rain for the rest of the evening. In fact, Monday looks like a soggy day as well, but good Lord, is it going to be warm. 53 degrees Lafayette, 52 in Monticello and 52 in Logansport. 17 degrees overnight tonight. Again, clouds will be on the increase and it will be pretty cool. Seven day forecast, 62 by Tuesday, maybe even some thunderstorms. Very interesting. We have rain, thunderstorms, and snow all in one week. So. It's quite impressive. We uh, have a lot to track. Absolutely, Jesse. Thank you. And Ross, the pretty men's basketball team's looking to bounce back after that. Yeah, Awful frustrating loss. second half yeah. against.